Okay, Cage's garage again. Working on, on the, again, the van, family van. I'm trying to find out what this noise is. I think I've heard this noise before. And let me shut the car off. All right, so the noise. Yeah, it goes away. It goes away at like 2,500 RPM. Kill it so I. It's not so hot. Um, the noise goes away around 2,500 RPM. So I think it was a if it was an engine noise, a knocking noise, it would keep doing it. I think it is timing belt tensioner. These go out on these cars all the time. So what I'm gonna do? I have a new one. And I'm going to just replace this. I know a lot of people say I should replace the timing belt, the tensioner, which is what I have, and water pump, obviously whatever gaskets, and then the pulleys. But I don't have that kind of time right now. We need to drive this fan. So I'm just gonna replace this. And I'm probably gonna see this thing's leaking oil like crazy. Um, there's oil all over here here I think it's leaking from this valve right here and I have the gasket for that I think while I have this apart I'm probably gonna re replace that too see if I can stop the leak but first thing is I'm gonna get that uh, change the cylinder out and see if it stops making the knocking noise to do that I need to get it up in there take this wheel off so I can get in there get to that that tensioner all right, let me get it up in the air and wheel off and I'll come back when i closer to getting this off. All right, as you can see, there's a little bit of an oil leak on here. This is not gonna be a clean job, but. Uh... All right, so right here is the, that tensioner. It's a two 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter bolts uh, I'm gonna get a large socket to get to put over this whole thing and a little extension so I can pry it around if I need to But I'm gonna take these two bolts off right there and I don't know man. Hopefully it just comes right off I don't know. I'm hoping I don't have to take the cover off because it looks like the cover goes around it. Let me look at the new one Nah, I think we should be good Looks like it would just slide right in So what you're supposed to do is have everything apart Put this in, and then pull the pin, and then this little plunger will jump out, hit against the pulley, and make the belt tight. Now, I can't pull the pin because it's inside. I would have to pull the cover off and all that. So I'm going to have to pull the pin now, and then I'm going to have to force this in. But let me take the old one off, make sure this is the actual problem. You have, to, you have to actually use a vise to crunch this down and get the pin back in there. If you, if you kind of look, the pin is actually bending already. <laughs> All right, so let me go pull it out and see where, where, where we get. All right, so what I grabbed was a one inch socket with extension. So it will fit over the tensioner. So this, this is inside the engine. And now I can put some, move this around a little, wiggle a little bit on the one that's in there and see if I can um, get it free. I got the nuts, I got the bolts free. I'll put this on here. Ah, it's different size. Ah, this is one inch, doesn't fit on this one. Okay, the one inch doesn't fit on the... So this one's narrower. The one inch doesn't fit on the one that's in there, so I need something that's bigger. I probably need both. I probably need this one for that, and then a bigger one. All right, let's see. So the one inch is too small. It will work for this guy, though. I got an inch, inch and one sixteenth. That doesn't work. This thing should work. 30 millimeter. It's like a hub. 
nut thing. All right, so I'm gonna put that on there. Try to get this. Uh, try to get that off. Let's see which one fits. All right, let's see. Inch and yep. All right, so that does, oh, it doesn't fit all the way. It doesn't fit all the way because it's curled there. Let's see if this one this fits no problem. So we'll use that big one. Okay, so let's try. I want to just try backing these uh, bolts off more. Ah, it's totally loose now. Okay, let it go a little bit more. I'm doing a normal ten. I think it'll fit up there. Yep. Let's see if they come off. Let's see if they come out. On. All right. It came out. No problem. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this goes. All right. Let's go look at this thing. Oh, yeah, look at this. See the grease and oil coming out of it? And now if I press down, I shouldn't be able to press this down. Oh, yeah. I can press it in like no pressure on, on me at all this here let's just make sure they look the same there we go make sure that they look the same all right let's pull this pin oh my god wow It doesn't just come right out. There we go. Holy crud. All right, let's see if I can push it down. No, no way. No way. One hand, yeah. That one's shot. So I think this is gonna be the problem. So let's go. So now the problem is this one was shot and it was in there and this wasn't, this wasn't hitting. This is banging around. What was happening is Belt's going and it's pulley's moving. Belt's spinning around. The pulley is trying to go in and out, and this is just going bang, 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 bang. Maybe the pulley is in the pulley, whatever. So anyway, it's garbage. This is going to be a tricky part. I'm going to have to try to get this in, and it's going to hit the pulley, and I'm not going to be able to press it in because there's no way to press this in. Like I said, you need to use a vise to get this in. So I'm going to have to get one goes in like this right on the engine put it in on an angle get one bolt started and then put the socket on it and pry it up and get it in there um, I did also see people turn the crank so it moves a little bit I'm gonna try that too so I'll, I don't know what size the crank pulley is but I gotta figure that out and do that so let's try to see if they get this in there right, so there's the hole it goes in just like this goes in and so that is as far as it would go if I was a Superman that super strength to be able to push this in and get those bolts but that's not gonna happen so no, I can't get it out <laughs> all right can you see the here we go you see the plunger there it's beat up a little bit so that has been banging around hopefully we're good when we put the new one in I need to get to the crank I don't know what size pulley this is or bolt that is I'll figure it out and you could take this whole line around you could take this line around right here but there's a hole right there that lines up with that that nut I'm just going to stick a socket right in there, an extension, and go on there, and then I'll be able to turn it. See the hole? Uh, right here. It's right there. Extension will go through it onto the, the bolt, and I'll be able to turn the whole thing. 
see if that helps get the um, tensioner in there. All right, so let me find the let me find the size for that. Okay, so it's three quarter. It's probably supposed to be some millimeter metric size, but three quarter fits. So let's put three quarter. All right, so this thing's won't go in, not lining up. So I have a socket on the crank bolt. And if I put it here and I turn the crank, it will go in a little bit more. And I should be able to get this bottom bolt in. Yep. All right, one bolt's in. Now, obviously, I can't get the other bolt. I don't know if I, if I turn the crank more, will it go? No. Okay, so that bolt's in. Now we do this other trick. The other trick with the socket on here. And let's see if I can move it up. I got the other bolt ready. So it won't go in. Push up on this. Oh yeah. And now. Uh, now it's going in. Alright. Now just tighten it down. I took the wrench off. I took the wrench off of the crank. Alright. Come on, get in there. See it? Alright. It's going nice it's going in nice and easy, so alright, I think we're done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick um, it on a regular ratchet. Let's make sure it's tight. Okay. I don't know what the torque put pound is supposed to be, but whatever this is is good. I'm gonna lower it down, start it up, and see if there's any noise. And hopefully, the noise is gone. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. I got these uh, cool new lights. It's a little stand. I don't know how high it goes. I mean, this is as high as I need it right now, but it can go one more, one more rung up. Um, it's just, and it's a USB cord, and it's it's pretty. It's super bright. And the reason why I have this light is this one here, ultra. Tech, the switch broke. So I need to take this whole thing apart. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another video on that. Take this apart and fix this little switch. It won't turn on. But this seems like it's working pretty good right now. It came in a package of two. I can put a uh, link in the description below if, you, if you're interested in those things. So it comes in a pretty generic box. Um, it's called Nice Vidi Video Light Kit. I don't know. It's it was advertised like so, sold for um, doing indoor stuff like that. So I don't know how long it's gonna last in the shop, but they were not that expensive. And I needed to replace those lights, so I need some light in here. Um, so I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll put a link if you want to if you want to buy buy this thing. Comes in a little bag. Some lights. All right. Well, let's see what happens with this when I start this thing. Oh. Started it up. No more noise. So that was it. It was that uh, tensioner. Saves an engine job. Anyway, uh, that took maybe 10 minutes to do. Very easy. Very easy to do um, compared to doing the whole timing belt and all that stuff. I know the timing belts probably has to be done, but right now we need the car on the road and we don't have time downtime for this thing. Those tensioners go out all the time, and I, don't, I wouldn't suggest just keep replacing the tensioner. I mean, if you just keep replacing the tensioner, eventually the belt is going to get so loose, it's just going to flop, it's going to skip skip uh, timing, and the car won't run. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate uh, you sticking until the end, and hope to see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you later. Thanks. Bye.